So uh, let's talk about uh, a post chat service, pre and post chat service. So the need for uh, let, let's talk about why we need these surveys. Um, so surveys, as you might have encountered yourself, are a pretty standard feature nowadays in any um, live conversations. Uh, though they seem very similar, uh, the purposes um, of each of these surveys are can be very different. So, uh, for example, pre chat surveys they're essentially um, you know. As the name suggests, they come up at the very beginning of a conversation before uh, an end user actually interacts with an agent. And um, the, the purpose behind that is to kind of gather enough context from the end user as to what their issue is or why they're actually reaching out to the agent. And if you extend that to the VA context in our world, uh, it kind of uh, the VA uses that to determine the intent and suggest recommended uh, topics. So topic, topic recommendation kind of rides off this feature as well. Uh, when you go to post chat, um, the intent is very different there. So it shows up at the very end after the end user has completed their interaction with the agent. And it's more for the enterprise or the business to gauge how the interaction went. Uh, they want to gather some kind of feedback and this mostly kind of results in some kind of a CSAT score uh, that they use to judge the performance of the agent. And if not, you know, the entire, uh, you know, call center. So that's kind of a uh, high level overview. It's not very complicated. I'm sure you guys have uh, encountered this uh, in your own uh, experiences. So let's talk about how this kind of works. Um, so the first step is, you know, or the first uh, optional step I should say is to kind of define surveys using context. Um, so this is something I think Scott covered yesterday in detail so i'm not going to go too much into that but essentially you can use context as a way to uh, trigger these surveys the next step is to actually go in and design these surveys by design i mean what kind of questions do you want uh, to be included in the pre-chat versus the post chat and for that we have something called a survey designer module um, that allows you to do exactly that and once you've kind of created or defined your survey uh, you kind of need to uh, say how they actually show up. So that works slightly differently for both pre-chat and post-chat. So in the case of uh, pre-chat surveys, what happens is you would have to go in to the pre-chat survey module, pick the actual survey that you want to configure or rather, you know, configure, by configure I mean you want to trigger. And then you kind of define the conditions based on which they're triggered. By conditions, I mean, for example, uh, you could say, you know, if the user is coming in from this portal, for example, then you kind of uh, showcase uh, the survey to the user. Or if uh, the user is an authenticated or logged in user, then you kind of uh, show survey XYZ versus uh, show survey ABC if the user is kind of a guest user. So there are different uh, you know, options and kind of different parameters that you can use as a business to kind of you know, trigger these surveys. When it comes to uh, post chat, the experience is slightly different in terms of configuring them. So you would have to define that at the queue level. Um, so you might have, as a business, you might have different queues. So you might have one queue for uh, handling billing related questions versus another queue that kind of deals only with uh, refunds or returns. And depending on you know, uh, how critical each of those queues are, you might want to design um, you know, a customized post chat service for each of those queues. So which is why post chat surveys are kind of, kind of always tagged to a queue and you kind of need to activate them. And that's kind of how post chat surveys uh, show up. So I, I'll show this in the demo as well, but I just want to include a couple of screenshots as to how this works um, because I just spoke through it. Uh, so on the top left here is kind of a snapshot of how you would configure a pre chat survey. So, like I said here, you kind of define conditions. And in this example, uh, this survey kind of gets triggered if the user is not a guest, meaning the user needs to be logged in and or uh, if this uh, particular portal is kind of where the you know user is coming in from, and in case of post chat survey, uh, like I said, you know this is a queue. Uh, this is a agent chat. I know it can can be a little blurry, but I will show this in more in the demo. But this is kind of where you kind of uh, have a tab for post chat surveys, and you kind of uh, you know define which survey is active versus which one is not. So that's kind of a overview of what surveys do and you know how they are configured. I will now uh, show you a demo of how this works.
So I'm first logging in here as the agent, Beth Anglin, and I will also log in as a requester and I'll kind of show you how the, uh, you know, the end user experience is. So as you can see at the very outset, when uh, you know the user is even trying to reach out to an agent, you see this uh, pre-chat survey coming in. So all of this is kind of defined as part of the configuration of the survey. So this is trying to gather some context, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna enter follow through on this. And some of these fields can also be configured as optional, which is why for this particular field, uh, it shows a skip button. So the user has the option to skip that question. And uh, this is more where you know the actual context is gathered. So in this particular survey, it's trying to define if the user is asking about a product question as a product question, as a billing question or an order question. So I'm just going to say uh, this is a billing issue that I have, and uh, I'm just going to say I have. A... So this user has seen some new charges, and that's kind of what he's trying to, you know, talk to the agent about. So immediately, the the, the immediate uh, benefit of this is that the agent does not have to, uh, you know, ask all of this information from scratch. This is already kind of shown to them so they have enough context when they actually go ahead and start interacting with the end user. And this is a su summary kind of template that we show. Um, you know, it kind of just summarizes the responses that I just entered. And if you want to edit any of this, you can just hit uh, no and it kind of takes you back through the whole loop and you kind of answer the questions all over again. Otherwise you could just say, I'm fine with this. And you know, that kind of uh, leads the user into, into the interaction. So I'm just gonna reach out to a live agent. Why is that working? Probably try it all over again, sorry. Hey, when I uh, billing support, right? It came to my instance. Let me log out from my instance. Okay. Let me just kill this and do it all over again. Sorry for that. Okay, it just came through. Oh, uh, I, mean, I want to add one point here for yesterday's question from Travis. So somebody was asking that, let's say if any, an instant is assigned and let's say the system uh, got crashed or the, the site did not work. How does that particular interaction works? So today it just happened. So I was demoing in the same instance on my site. So when, when I sent the request, it came to my instance where I activated an agent. So now I just closed all my instances. Immediately it popped up in Vinay's instance and he was able to accept that interaction. Right. Thanks, Sam. Uh, so if you can see on the agent side, you know, they already see a summary of uh, the responses that were given as part of the pre-chat survey. So now I'll just say that, you know, the interaction went well, uh, and I'm just going to simulate the, you know, the closing of the interaction from the agent side. Uh, it just says, thank you. And now they actually go ahead and end the chat. So now uh, this is where the post chat survey kicks in for the end user. So this is, uh, you know, like I said, post chat surveys are usually used to collect feedback as to how the interaction went. 
So this kind of is doing something very similar. So this is trying to gauge how the interaction with the agent was. So I'm just gonna say, great. And this is just an optional question for any open-ended feedback. So once, uh, you know, the post chat survey has been completed, you can see that, you know, the transcript also just got populated. So this is kind of how uh, it works from an end user standpoint. I can quickly go to, you know, the system admin role and then show you how some of these are configured in the back end. So first thing I wanna show you is you actually go into survey and view surveys. This is kind of what uh, you would see. So these are all the, act I mean, surveys that have been configured, I shouldn't say active. These are all the surveys that have been configured on this instance. So the one that for the short of a pre-chat was this one right here. It kind of also gives you, uh, you know, some statistics on how the responses were for this particular survey. And if you go in here to this tab, you know, this was the leading, you know, the opening statement or you know, the first uh, prompt that came through. And this is where you can define, you know, how to close the survey as well. So this was a pre-chat one. If I go in, I can also show you the post-chat. Uh, another thing I want to quickly show you is, you know, the designer. So the de designer is where I said you actually define these questions. So those are the two questions that you saw on the post chat survey. <laughs> 